Never lose your drill press chuck key again. Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. The chuck key, an essential part of using a drill. But how do you make it so you don't lose the dumb thing? On a corded drill, it's a piece of cake. Nothing a little electrician's tape can't fix. But what do you do on the drill press? Well, I've seen two kind of bad options. The first option is to do what I'm doing currently and use a string. I let it dangle. The problem is, as you're using it, you come in here, you tighten, you loosen, and it gets tangled up in the wheel. And then as you're going, you just have a mess. The next solution that I've seen has some merit in the right kind of shop. It also may be a good option. And that's simply to use a magnet. You take your magnet, you stick your chuck key to it. When you use the chuck key, you put it back where the magnet is. Problem is, one, it requires you to actually put the chuck key back. And two, if you're working in a metal shop where you're doing a lot of drilling of metal, that magnet's a bad idea. But I'm here to show you there is a much, much better way. So what's the solution? Well, this solution is so simple. It's one of those things where I'm like, why didn't I think about that years ago? All you need is a badge reel or key reel. You affix this to the drill press, you stretch it out, you're able to do what you need to do, and it goes back in. So here we have our badge reel. How do we mount that up? Well, there is a clip on the back. So you could easily affix something for this clip to fit down over, but there's a better option. If you look right there, there's a screw. Now don't run over to your tool chest, grab a Phillips screwdriver and start taking that apart because the moment you remove that screw, parts are gonna go everywhere. Ask me how I know. This is a spring controlled tool. If you don't wanna have to figure out how to put it back together, use a little tape. Just tape it together so that you can remove the screw, drill a hole in your cover, Mount that via the screw, then you can remove the tape and you will be set to go. And there we have it. All I did was opened up this metal ring here, removed the attaching points that came with it, put it around the end of the chuck key and crimped it back together. Now, if I find that that doesn't hold, I will actually probably weld a ring to the end of this. You can't drill into this chuck key anywhere because it's hardened steel. Let's see how it works. It's in the resting position. Bring it down. We do what we need to do. It goes right back up. It's out of the way. It's not interfering with the quill. And we have a slick setup where I will never lose my chuck key again. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.